right, we'll go ahead and take a look at Old Mother Flanagan, the melodic version. Here's measure number one. Take a look at measure number two. big challenge on this arrangement is a, a whole lot of consecutive hammer-ons and pull-offs um, mostly on the second fret to open strings um, which is pretty simple in and of itself but when you string them all together the big challenge is to try to keep them nice and uh, steady and uh, something I'm still working on with this arrangement myself so uh, good luck with that and, and keep a good eye on playing nice and steady with these um, long strings of pull-offs and hammer-ons. Let's look at measure number three. Again, a lot of these hammer-ons and pull-offs that I talked about. That'll take us to measure four. Alternately, if you want there on this measure, you can slide from the second to the fourth as opposed to a hammer-on. And that's something I do from time to time when the spirit moves me on this tune. Now that takes us back to the first measure of the second line. Um, and here we have just a very slight variation. We're really going to repeat most all of what we did in the previous line um, and you could just repeat the same this measure here could be exactly the same as the first measure of the tune if you want it to I'm just doing a little variation this is something I do when I play a little faster so you see when I come back around to re kind of repeat the phrase that we started the A part with um, I'm going to do a little phantom stroke in there so here's the end of the fourth measure. And then you see we come into this measure with a phantom stroke for the first half beat. And then everything else falls right back into line. One more time there. Now we move in um, to the next few measures. You're going to see that there's really nothing new until the very end of the final measure. All repeats, repeat ideas from the previous, previous measures in this part. So what I'll go ahead and do is just play the uh, one time through each of these measures. So here's the second measure in the second line. Here's the third measure. And the final measure. And you see that's the only difference to the very last part of the final measure. We come to that open, open G string strum. Alright, that does it for the A part of the tune. Let's take a look at the B part. Again, you're going to see a lot of repeat phrases in this particular tune. Um, but one of the variations is going to happen right here at the beginning of the B part. We're just going to play that open third string, followed by a little pull off on the second string, or the fourth string rather. 